Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer, host of Emily's Wonder Lab, and soon to be astronaut. And I am so excited to partner with Arm & Hammer Baking Soda to launch Baking Soda Rocket Day to students across the country. So in this video, we are going to teach you how to make a baking soda rocket from scratch and teach you how to get involved in the nationwide Baking Soda Rocket Day event. First, the basics. What is Baking Soda Rocket Day? Well, this year on October 10th during World Space Week, we are going to celebrate all things STEAM by launching thousands of baking soda rockets with schools across America. It is going to be an epic event with my favorite science experiment ingredients, baking soda. Baking Soda Rocket Day is open to everyone and we still need your help. You can find information on how to participate from home at bakingsodarocket.com. And get this, families can enter for a chance to win a trip for one child to go to space camp at the US Space and Rocket Center next summer, sponsored by Arm & Hammer. It is critical that we make STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics concepts accessible for all children because skill and talent are everywhere, but opportunity is not. And one of my personal favorite ways to bring science to life is with accessible easy to make hands-on experiments like this baking soda rocket. Baking soda is probably my most commonly used science experiment ingredient from slime, rainbow bubbles, rockets. Oh my, you can make so much with this accessible ingredient. And today we are going to launch a baking soda rocket to space. Okay, well not, not quite to space, but pretty high up. <gasps> Here's what you need to make your baking soda rocket. An empty two liter bottle, three pencils, duct tape, scissors, and things to decorate your rocket with, including a pen to write a note. I'll tell you more about that one in a second. A cork, two tablespoons of Arm & Hammer baking soda, two cups of vinegar, a paper towel, safety glasses. These should be worn at all times when you're operating your rocket. And finally, adult supervision, because I'm telling you, these things can be pretty powerful. First thing we're going to do is tape on our pencils. We want our rocket oriented this way with the open side pointing down. We are going to tape on our pencils to the two liter bottle with the racer side down. And the goal here is to have our rocket hovering off of the ground about an inch. So we're gonna do this one by one. Put my tape on my pencil just like so. And now I'm going to put it on my rocket so that the end of the pencil is right below the opening about an inch. Just like that. And about a third of the way around, we're gonna place our other pencil. There we go, that's two. Now that one is on. Let's check to see if that's pointed straight up. Perfect, look at that. So that part is complete. Now we are going to decorate our rocket. So I have very sparkly materials here because I want the rocket to match my personality. I'm just gonna wrap this entire thing around the rocket, just like that. And now we're gonna do the nose cone, but we're gonna do something special for the nose cone. The inside of your nose cone, I want you to write a dream. What do you wanna be when you grow up? Where do you wanna go? What do you wanna do? Because we are going to launch our dreams to the stars. Okay, we're not going to space, I keep forgetting, but it's gonna be very high. It's gonna be very, very high. <laughs> Now you're gonna roll your paper like this to create a cone shape. Kinda looks like a funnel, right? Make sure that that fits on top of our rocket. You might be able to make the top a little bit tighter there. And once you feel like that's a good fit, we're going to tape it on, just like that. Make sure it's mostly pointed upward, just like so. Looks a little duct tapey from the back, but from the front, she looks really pretty, right? Okay, so I'm gonna add my sparkly stars, give it some more personality. I call it my sparkle and soar rocket because I'm a big believer that you can both sparkle and soar. Now it is time for the first part of our propellant. Go ahead and flip over your rockets and we're going to put two cups of vinegar right inside. Two. You can put the lid back on your two liter bottle to make sure none of the vinegar falls out. Now it is time for our baking soda. So go ahead and get your paper towel and lay it flat. We are going to put two tablespoons of baking soda along one of the edges in a line, okay? This is very important. Just like this. Two. Okay, just like that. Now what you wanna do is prepare a small piece of tape and just set it aside. We're gonna use it in a second, Put it right there. Now take your paper towel and we are going to roll this up 
as small and as tight as we possibly can because this is going to go into the opening of our two liter bottle and you don't want it to be bigger than your opening. And then once you have that, take one of the ends, fold it up so none of the baking soda falls out. And we are going to use that piece of tape to close our little roll here, just like that. Baking soda is the second part of our propellant. Baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, is a base. Vinegar, or acetic acid, is an acid. And when you mix the two together, it starts this chemical reaction that creates carbon dioxide bubbles, like a lot of them, like all at once. And when you put that inside of the container and shut the lid, well, those bubbles will build and build and build and the pressure will build and build and build until the bottle rocket can't take the pressure anymore and the cork will explode downwards, sending all of that air rushing downwards. And because of Newton's third law for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. All of that air moving downwards will force our rocket upwards. Are you ready to see that science in action? Yeah! Let's go. Bring your rocket outside to a flat surface and make sure it is pointed away from people, pets, plants, delicate objects, windows, etc. because this thing, it like, it really launches, okay? It really launches. Grab your paper towel with your baking soda and we are going to quickly put it inside of our two liter bottle and then put our cork on. We want this to be tight enough so that no liquid spills out, but not super duper tight. Okay, it's a delicate balance. Make sure your safety glasses are on. Safety first, safety first, safety first. One. One thing I want you to keep in mind is that because we have bottle variety and cork variety, these can take between 30 seconds to five or six minutes to launch. So once you flip it over, step back and be patient because that pressure is building and building and building, even if it doesn't look that way. And definitely do not put your head or hands or anything above the rocket during this process. Thank you so much for launching baking soda rockets with me today. I am so excited to see families and students across the country create and decorate their own baking soda rockets, launching their dreams sky high. The space industry is more exciting today than ever before in history, and we need the next generation of scientists and engineers to help propel us into this new era of space exploration. Make sure you join us on October 10th for Baking Soda Rocket Day. Learn more at bakingsodarocket.com. <laughs>